Chairman, I appreciate the recognition and uh, stand to oppose the gentleman's amendment. And first of all, also to make the observation representing the northwest corner of the state of Indiana that I believe the gentleman is mistaken in suggesting that the state of Indiana uh, supports the closure of the locks. Uh, it is my understanding that the state of Indiana opposes the closing of the locks. I would agree uh, with the gentleman's assertion that we face a very serious problem as far as the CARP, and I and others have certainly joined in that concern. Uh, as a member of the Energy and Water Subcommittee for over a decade, uh, we have been working assiduously on this particular problem, not only uh, with the Army Corps of Engineers, but with an assortment of state and federal regulatory bodies, because no one wants carps in the Great Lakes. But I would emphasize to this body uh, that it is a work in progress, uh, and at this point, uh, the closure of the locks uh, is on call for. The second point, and the gentleman talks about the economy, uh, there is an economic issue. Uh, speaking for the state of Indiana, I would point out if those locks were closed, uh, the impact as far as the loss to economic activity in the state of Indiana is $1.9 billion and 17,655 jobs in Indiana would be affected. Uh, we're trying to create jobs in this economy, uh, not strike them uh, from beneath us. And finally, uh, this issue is not without controversy. It has ended up in the course. The gentleman's absolutely correct about that. Twice the United States Supreme Court has rejected arguments by the Michigan Attorney General that closing the locks is eminently needed at this point in time. Last year, the state of Michigan brought the question of lock closure before the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of Illinois. On December 2nd, uh, Judge Robert Dow ruled against the state of Michigan on their request for a preliminary injunction, explaining that the lock closure could inflict certain harm on the economy and that the state of Michigan had failed to demonstrate that the Asian carp presented an ecological threat to the Great Lakes that was imminent. So, again, I would urge all of my colleagues to oppose the gentleman's amendment, and I would yield back my time. The ge I'd be happy to yield. The gentleman's comments, and particularly at the opening of your remarks, when you said your involvement in this issue for more than a decade, and the, the problem we have is we've run out of time. Uh, really, since 2009, when eDNA was found north of the locks, and now we find live Asian carp and north of the locks. if I could recapture my time, I understand the finding of DNA that is not carp. Uh, and again, everyone is working on keeping the carps out of the lake. Uh, the locks are not impermeable either. Uh, and we have court intervention and court rulings on this matter. And again, would ask my colleagues to oppose the gentleman's amendment and would again yield back my time.